Big question now, will the Emmys even take place as planned on September 18th? This as the writer strike hits day 72. With more, we are joined once again by entertainment attorney uh, and freelance journalist Jonathan Handel. Good to see you. Good to see you, Mom. A lot to talk about. Are the Emmys going to happen? I, you know, I wish with the sobering news that we've had at the top of the hour, I could bring you good news, but the Emmys are probably not going to happen. They're scheduled for September 18th, but the actors, if they strike, and they almost certainly will strike, uh, the, the contract expires tonight, uh, would not be able to participate and will not participate. And what we're hearing is that at some point this month, they have to make a go, no go decision. The Emmys may be pushed as far as either November or even January. Hmm. And the Emmys are supposed to air here on Fox. It may be better with football for it to actually air in January. Uh, so we'll see what happens yeah. on that front. But let's talk about that big deadline tonight. SAG-AFTRA, uh, midnight tonight is the deadline. Tell us what that deadline really means, because I think there's been a lot of bad reporting about what's actually happening. What happens at midnight, and what do we expect to see over like the next three days or so? There's a lot of confusion. So this, the, the contract originally was set to expire July, uh, July 1st. It was extended. The contract expires tonight. But that doesn't mean that if there's no deal, and there probably will be no deal, uh, it doesn't mean that there's a, suddenly a strike in the middle of the night. The, the national board of the Screen Actors Guild SAG-AFTRA will meet tomorrow morning at 9 or 9.30, we're told, and will then decide whether to call a strike. And they, if there's no deal, they will certainly call a strike, probably unanimously. Uh, there will probably be a press conference after that. The picketing, we're told, would not begin in, at least in a formal sense, until Friday, although, of course, the actors have been out on the picket lines with the writers mm -hmm. already. But, you know, once, once they actually go on strike and start picketing, the actors will flood the zone. It, it, the union is 15 times larger hmm. than the Writers Guild. We're talking 160,000 versus 11,000. Uh, member union. 160,000? 160,000 members wow. of sag -Afra. Now it's a national union. They're not all, right. you know, the writers are mostly New York and L.A., but nonetheless, it's, uh, it's a much larger union. And, and SAG leadership, they held a call sort of preemptively earlier this week with agents and publicists to try to get protocol of what it looks like in terms of being able to do promotional activities. What came out, out of that? Well, there's actually two calls, in fact, uh, one with the publicists and then one with the agents. And um, the promotional activities were addressed with the publicists, and the answer was that actors can do almost nothing in so terms they can't, of publicity. So they can't promote their movies? They can't promote their movies. Comic-Con, no actors. Big, big for Marvel and DC. Wow. Uh, you know, the late night shows, of course, are already dark. Any other promotion that they might do, though, no. Yeah. And then meanwhile, on the agent side, what kind of work can the actors do? You know, very limited. There's, there's the soap operas they can do. It's a separate contract. If they're, but they can't, for example, if they're shooting overseas under a SAG contract, no. Like we've seen uh, Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie all over the place promoting Barbie everywhere, right? Uh, that's right. All of a sudden, they would be knowing no more interviews. Barbie goes back in the box. Yeah. Mm. All right. A lot of money at stake. That's really going to hurt the studios, too. That's Jonathan right. Handel, great to see you. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. It's, this uh, is what it looks like. Yeah. All right.